Join us this week for some wild weather as we sail through southern Queensland waters. We go foraging for wild greens. What a breakfast, eh? Hey? Visit an extraordinary dive site. And face rough conditions as we exit Malolaba. Now we've finally turned the engine off and popped the spinnaker. I thought I'd have a little chat about what's been happening the last few days. So the last few days we've spent motoring down the sandy straits because we've had pretty much no wind. Oh, I'll just turn the radio off. And we took Anchorage actually uh, just out of Tinkan Bay at a place called Pelican Point, ready to cross the bar this morning. It was a pretty uh, stress-free and event-free. <laughs> crossing. We are currently going five knots with the spinnaker up downwind and we will be in Malulaba. hopefully I think the GPS is saying 6.30 tonight so that should be great. Yesterday we were down at the beach having a swim and when we came up uh, to have our shower we noticed on the foreshore there that there was some New Zealand spinach growing. It's awesome isn't it? Not only is there no crocodiles here but there's free food. <laughs> yeah so that's one of the awesome things about coming a bit further south. We've got nice beautiful beaches to swim out, waves and in this temperate region there's some edible greens. The greens themselves just grow in a creeper along the ground and we harvested it and washed it and then we just pulled the leaves off the stem and just threw the stems away. It was nice where we found those greens growing. Um, it was behind a fence and one of the important things that I've found about harvesting wild foods in suburbia yeah. is try and get them from places where a dog, dog can't go. Can't get to. Yeah. <laughs> For obvious reasons. <laughs> They're also known as uh, warrigal greens here and not only are they native to New Zealand, they're also native to Australia and parts of Asia. So we're going to treat it just like spinach. You do, it is recommended to cook warrigal greens because they contain oxalic acid and if you cook them then the heat removes the acid. So we're just going to cook it just like spinach. I've got a little bit of water in, a, in the billy here that I'm going to bring to a boil. We'll chuck the spinach in to steam it and then add a bit of butter and a little bit of freshly ground nutmeg. We've got some free range eggs to have with it and a little bit of smoked salmon. Yeah. Oh. So I've just put the warrigal greens in and they're steaming in a bit of boiling water. Let's put the lid on. All right, just gonna add a teaspoon, a big teaspoon of butter in and grate some nutmeg. This is my very amazing microplane that my mum gave me one year for Christmas. That should be enough. All right, put a bit of nutmeg in the eggs too. What? <laughs> that my friend Chelsea taught me that one. It's, it's really a good, good one, isn't it?
That looks exactly like European spinach. Right. What a breakfast, eh? So we've got uh, free range scrambled eggs with pasteurized chooks that we got from the farmer's market here in Mooloolaba. That's on Saturday mornings. I think it's called the Kiwana Farmer's Market. It's called the Amazing Farmer's Market. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty excited to get some fresh produce from local farms. And we've got our Worrell Greens and a little bit of Tasmanian smoked salmon. Nice. Mm, so here goes. I'll just try the greens for you. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes like spinach. It's pretty close, isn't it? Mm hmm Maybe even just a little bit more body than spinach. Yeah, spinach can go really watery. This has got a bit more crunch, hmm. don't you reckon? Yeah, it's great. It's got a bit more crunch, a bit firmer. It's good. It's more like silver beet actually than spinach. The old dirt. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Another thing we really enjoyed about Malola Bar was the friendly locals, like this ring-tailed possum. With a favourable wind to continue our journey, we said goodbye to new friends and prepared Marul to sail south to Moreton Bay. Steady rains over the previous days in Mooloolabar had put the Maroochee River in flood. It would have been better to exit the river mouth at slack tide, but our need to work the tides to get into Moreton Bay compelled us to leave earlier. Coast Guard Malulaba, Coast Guard Malulaba, this is the sailing of Maroon, 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 Town Center. Yeah, g'day mate, this is uh, Maroon, two packs on board, we've just departed Malulaba, we're heading south, and our destination is the southern end of Raleigh Island. Uh, 
We felt very lucky to have been able to enter and lay anchor in the Caboolture River as our timing with the tide was a very near thing. We only had 10 centimetres under Marul's keel when we entered. That's a solid rainbow. Isn't it? <laughs> that is so bright there. Mm. It's starting to do another layer of colour. Alright, we cruised in uh, yesterday to Tangaluma Wreck. It wasn't a bad sail, but uh, as is our usual skill, it was on the nose. The wind was on the nose the whole way. <laughs> but what it's meant is we have southeasterly winds now, so we're getting a bit of protection here. It's a little bit roly poly. We stayed here. Um, it's a popular spot to come and dive. You know, the Brisbane's just over there, 17 miles away. So it gets a, it gets a bit of traffic. So we decided to overnight here, and we're we're about to go for a morning dive before sort of the crowds arrive, and just see what it's all about here, Tangaluma Rex. The ships of the Tangaluma Rex were sunk in 1963 to create a safe harbour for cruisers. The project was a bit of a failed experiment as the anchorage is not very protected in most conditions. However, the wrecks themselves have become a unique fish habitat, making for a fantastic dive site.
Good morning. This morning we're having buckwheat pancakes and I've been busy getting a core workout while the boat rocks and rolls while well, I've been making them. But they're looking pretty good today. So I'm just going to pull the last one off the pan. We are going to tuck in. The last one's a bit fat. <laughs> well, we're going to leave you now to tuck into this delicious feast and then we're going to be heading back to Brisbane way to Scarborough Marina, aren't we, this mm. morning? Does that fry pan need to be hot still? No, I didn't turn the fry pan off because I'm too busy <laughs> filming. <laughs> We had a fantastic downwind sail to Scarborough Marina near Brisbane where we planned to leave Marul for a few weeks. We hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Free Range Sailing, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a like. If you'd like to support our productions, there's a link to our Patreon page in the description of this video. If Patreon's not your thing, then we've also put a link to PayPal if you'd like to make a contribution that way. Thanks for watching, and see you next week.